Alright, so hey, how's it going everyone? The Sham here, and today I'm going to be doing yet another video, and this one is from, um, this is from a help from a commentator, so I'm going to just leave the comment up on the screen. And it's obviously, like, one that I said for one of my meme pages, it was like, it was like, um, some stupid thing, like, saying how, like, um, babies and narcissism combine together, and, like, basically, like, they're, they are how they are, and obviously, like, I was like, hmm, um, I had a question, where does this thing come from? And then the commentator actually gave me the, the what's it called, the background of where it's from. And obviously we're going to check out that that video that shows all of it. And it's from PragerU. And obviously like it, the video is called, Are People Good? So obviously it's going to be a short video. So let me hear what this bullcrapper is going to say. So, But before I start that, let me hit that intro so we could react to this video. After all, if we're born good, mm -hmm. why do you have to teach goodness? If you were born good, why do you need to... Well, not everyone is born good. We all have the the middle ground. We're born both good and evil. Like, basically, like, um, we have those devious actions as kids that basically, like... Um, that when when we do that devious action, obviously the parent gets mad. But obviously, um, you try to hide it with the the good, the goodness that you have, and try to be like, oh, I did the bad action, but still I'm showing um uh, a pure and good face, so they don't get the fact that oh I'm I'm a bad person. No, like basically, whatever you get taught with, that's basically where you're gonna go out and give to, because like obviously if a person is being nice to you and is basically um showing you all this other good stuff of um good actions um you tend to later on share that same uh positivity and all the other good stuff of actions um to your kin or other people so they could spread it around and be like let's not be negative let's not be uh bad people let's be positive and all that other stuff like basically like not everyone is born good not everyone is it it's just confusing but like obviously like i'm saying like we're not all good we didn't get born good like we got born and then we're like oh wow like i have good and positive energy i'm not negative or evil inside no like we have the middle ground it just depends on how we get raised on the other hand, those who don't believe we are born all that good understand that parents and society have to undertake major efforts to make children into good adults. Okay, so here's the thing. Obviously, like, um, me, obviously, like, I didn't get shown all those values of literally being good. I literally learned it from, obviously, watching other people do the actions. And I was like, okay, so basically, um... I got to be respectful and obviously not break the rules and all the other stuff, even in school. And just a little thing like um, it's the difference between obviously being not going outside and going outside because like for me, like I was more indoors because I didn't have like my friends around to hang out with and play when I was a kid. And I was just always like focused on, okay, this is my schedule. I get out of school, I go home, I do my homework, and then I could just either watch a TV or play my video games or play with my Legos or my other stuff that I had. And for my brother, which is the other hand of the of the lifestyle, like he has his friends that he could hang out with and play. And obviously like he gets like over the niche of literally uh, just going home, doing the homework, and then later either watching TV, and if possible, like, if he could go with one of his friends to go hang out with, like, stuff like that, but, like, it's different. It's just different to environment. So that's basically okay, how then. I see my Are people 
basically good. As no. I will show, given humanity's history, the answer should be obvious. Of course human nature isn't basically good. Now, this doesn't mean that people are basically bad. We are born with real potential to do good. Mm -hmm. But we are not basically good. Exactly. Take babies. Bab oh, goodness. And here comes the segment that I was watching. But basically, like, the guy is speaking facts that basically, like, we're not born already good. Like, we have potential to literally become evil if we follow an evil um, connotation and pathway. And if we choose the good pathway, we literally become being good still in the end. Or it could literally be vice versa. Like, basically, um, you could get shown the horrible side, but then you end up being the good, being a good person and spreading being good to the next generation. Or you could be spread good, but you can end up being evil. Like, stuff like that. It all just depends on how how you see your perspective like me mine was perspective of how i was with being indoors and my brother being outdoor more like um me being staying in home more than hanging out with my friends and my brother hanging out with his friends and staying out more playing instead of literally like focusing on doing his homework and all the other stuff like there's a difference between that like obviously like if you have more of the freedom, you become a little bit more rebellious against the parents and you start like um, doing these devious actions like um, lying to them that, oh, I did my homework when in reality you didn't just so you could be able to go out and play again if you get called. And obviously like, um, like for another perspective saying that, oh, you stayed home, you did your homework, you showed it to your parents. Oh, OK, you're free to do what you want to do um like that like there's a difference between that but let's see Babies what is he gonna say about the baby and innocent mm -hmm. but they're not good they're entirely self-centered oh my god as they Here have go. to be in order to survive i want mommy i want milk i want to be held i want to be comforted mm -hmm. and if you do not do all these things immediately i'll begin to I ruin your life <laughs> that's not goodness that's narcissism. Oh, my goodness. We are born narcissists, preoccupied. Uh, this is for the comments, uh, for the viewers. Uh, do you think this is true, that we are born narcissists? Because I, I just go with that fact with we have the middle line that basically we're both good and we're both evil. But it just depends on how we go as we develop over time. That's how mine is with not number one yeah. ourselves. I never consider myself worked number with one. Kids, you know how cruel, how bullying they can be. Oh my goodness. And don't parents have to tell their child tens of thousands of times, say thank you? No. Now why is that? I've never been if told. We're naturally that. good, wouldn't feeling and expressing gratitude? I just come seen the people naturally. Do that. If we're naturally good, wouldn't feeling and expressing gratitude come naturally? No, not not reality. Because like um, basically um, obviously like here's the thing: if there's a person that was not shown the good manners like that, obviously they're just gonna be like, okay, uh, thank you, thank you very much. They're gonna be like, mm hmm, and basically like it's gonna take over time before they get that niche. They're like, oh, he's uh, this person is saying thank you. I should probably say thank you as well. Like this is how I did like when I was like the growing up that basically i was never told oh say thank you like i was just like seeing what other people were doing like uh this person was like oh thank you I was like, yeah thank you and basically when when they ask you a question oh like oh how are you doing i was like oh i'm doing good how are you like just being polite like i've seen like the actions of the good nature that people do and that's how i literally ended up developing it instead of like now that my brother obviously doesn't have that um that niche where he focuses on what people are doing and just focuses on himself um um i'm the one that has to tell him like say thank you or like try to like uh explain that you want this item when you order something and stuff like that but like it doesn't come naturally it just comes with time and then there is the historical record. Evils ah. 
huge evils, evils affecting much of the human race have been the norm. Here goes just a few examples. The Ottoman Turks targeted millions of Armenian Christians for death during World War I. Oh, the, history the German is, Nazi yeah. regime murdered six million Jews, two out of every three European Jews, including more than a million children and babies. Jeez. The Soviet yeah, communist regime how that's slaughtered crazy. about five million Ukrainians and about 25 Jeez. million other innocents. The Chinese communists killed about 70 million Chinese and enslaved the rest of the Chinese people. The North Korean communist regime has built what one can only call the world's largest concentration camp, most of North Korea. In post-colonial Congo, in the decade between 1998 and 2008. Okay, but here's the thing. This is how, like, they, they it's just how nobody knows how they've been raised back then because I... Like I said, it just depends on how you were raised. Because obviously, like, it's not going to be like, oh, this person was born naturally evil, so he's going to end up doing evil stuff. And like, no, like, like I said, it's just the middle ground when you're born. And basically, it all depends on how you get raised and what you see that develops you into the person that you are. And obviously, like, this was just like the difference was that they were born, and then basically, they kept on seeing like, um, atrocity they've been seeing death they've been seeing this and it could be a perspective being like they they probably enjoyed this and they want to see this more and they started doing this they it's probably revenge it doesn't matter like it, it all just depends on how you were raised what you saw in actions that's basically what i'm going with that like obviously these people over five million people were murdered and tens if not hundreds of thousands evil. of women raped jeez of course, before that, about 10 million Africans were kidnapped and made slaves in the European slave trade. And another 10 to 18 million Africans were enslaved by Arabs. These are a crazy Arab amount trade. of numbers. And let me ask you this. If okay. people are basically good, mm -hmm. why does every civilization have so many laws to control human behavior? Because if we don't have law, then basically the... Basically, people are going to assume that they could do whatever they want and be like, um, well, obviously, like this is going off, basically, uh, and I'm going with an anime reference, um, Dr. Stone, uh, basically, um, it all gets erased. Uh, there's no laws, no nothing like that. And obviously, um, you're free to do whatever you want. Basically, there's no laws. And obviously, with no laws, people get to do whatever they want. So if there was no law that limit you to doing robbery or or even committing a murder, like if there's no law that limits that, then basically people are going to end up doing it over and over and over again. And basically the that they're basically good is just BS and that it's false. And I'm telling you, like, like I said, middle ground, that's all it is. And if you agree with me, leave it down in the comments saying that you agree with my viewpoint and basically, or do you agree with this man's viewpoint saying, oh, we're born narcissists. So obviously, like, you know, but we need many laws so we don't end up changing our perspectives and our, our lifestyle from obviously how we are from good to turning bad. Like you saw what happened in Star Wars, like. The dark side and the, and obviously the, damn, it's been a while. But like, you know what I'm trying to imply, that basically with someone that was good was shown the path of evil started going to the dark side. That's basically what, that's basically the, you know, the perspective of where this is going if there was no loss. That there would be like from, obviously like they, of good nature, but no loss, they're slowly, 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 slowly. Then they go to the dark side and they become evil. That's basically why we need laws or else we make Karens. Knowing all this, those who believe that people are basically good have simply made a decision to believe that and ignore all the evidence. Why do people yeah. commit evil? Because it's easy to, because it's tempting to, and yes, because it often accords with human nature. Yeah, I mean, I guess like their human nature literally is 
a double-sided coin, like, basically, like, um, if they see an evil in action and they could get away with it, like, it, it's obviously gonna, gonna go like that for every single time for that person. It's like, uh, an example being the button, like, it's saying, do not press the button, and obviously, like, um, in two peop people's perspective, like, there's one person that's like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna press the button. And, like, the other person is like, oh, I'm not going to press the button. But tempting to press that button, I mean, what could happen? I mean, we could get a secret door opening. We could get something to happen. Kind of want to press that button. Like, it happens like that. That That's basically, like, um, in accordance with human nature. That's basically just instinct that we have. Like, to some, they're not going to do it. But to some, there, there's... They're not going to do it, but they want to do it because they want to see what's going to happen. So, yeah. Wow, I've been learning a lot of new that things. That is why figuring out how to make good people is the single most important project in all of human life. Mm, I guess it, it, we need more good people instead of like these people that are doing horrible actions and are just making chaos because they want they want chaos. They don't want peace. Yeah. But first, Let's see. you have to believe it's necessary. I'm Dennis Prager. <laughs> I'm Dennis Prager, and this is my presentation of why babies are narcissists. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, like, still, like, um, yeah, we need more people that are, are of good nature, not these people that bring chaos and atrocity, because it's horrible, like, seen the news and then they seen this amount of people um died because of this person's action or this other stuff like nah nah dude i don't want that i want a place that has peace and people with good nature but it takes time but sometimes time doesn't give you enough because then another trusty will happen even if it's like one place that they want to fix first they got to fix everywhere because in every part of the world like this person said evil is around and yeah so basically i learned a little, little bit about stuff and i got the context from it i i when i just saw the clip of basically the the babies being narcissists it, it just gave me that fact it's like wow this guy <laughs> is really going with the bold move saying wow like babies are narcissists because they want all the attention just to survive and now that i got the clarification okay i was like you know what didn't seem as horrifying as i expected when i saw the clip but it's interesting because it left me uh, thinking but like i said who do you agree with do you agree with my point saying that um we're in the middle ground when we're born that basically it's both good and evil but uh, it just depends on how we see stuff and when we grow up, like what we learn and all this other stuff. Or do you agree with um, Dennis Prager saying that when we're born, we're basically narcissists? I don't know. Leave your thoughts down in the comments of uh, which side you're on. And if you are, then why? But like I said, that'll be it for this video. So stay tuned for more reactions, uh, discussions, meme, memes, tier lists like this video and other ones. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the gaming channel that I have and check it out. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, share, comment. You know what to do. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Laters.